these are just some of the ones that I have physical. I've seen a couple of my friends do this video and I always comment on their videos. I am shit with series, like I never finish them. The most normal case is that I read the first book and then I don't continue the series. So by the time I want to, I have already forgotten everything that happened. So I went into Goodreads and started writing down all of the series. I was expecting the list to be 50. 60 like max and then i started writing the series name right i wrote and wrote and wrote and the series kept coming and coming and coming and i was like when is this going to stop and it is stopped at 91 series And the worst part is that a lot of these series I actually want to continue or I'm on the fence about. So like there's literally no reason for me to not have finished all of these series. I try to categorize into series that I've DNF'd, I'm not going to continue, series that I'm on the fence about and series that I actually want to finish. So we are going to start with the DNF ones. The first category we have is books that were free at the time I read them on Amazon and that's the only reason why I read them. I, I've had my Amazon account since I was 16, like 2016. When I was a teenager, I was reading a lot of books that you won't catch me reading right now. Like, what are these books? First one, we are going to start with a bang, Power Tools series. The first book is the only one I read, of course, and it's Kate's crew. Already the cover, I had an entire phase. Like my teenage years was dominant and submissive. And then I had an entire phase where I was reading a lot of like polyamorous relationship, but not between the men. Like they all care about the woman. Kate's crew is basically about this girl. She is remodeling her house. And <laughs> she ends up with all of the... <laughs> All of them been working to make her her house. Okay, that is not that bad. <laughs> this next one is the Children of Lilith series. Just the title, it is Won by the Three Satyrs. Then we have Twisted Hearts, which the first book is the one I read, of course. All of them I just read the first book because I was giving this book through two, three stars. I wasn't liking them, but I was still reading them. I think it was also because I, when I was 15, 16, I started noticing I was paying attention to girls a little bit too much. Uh, I was like, no, nope, I'm going to read these books and I'm going to like it. And therefore, I'm straight and I like men because I like the men here and their love story. So I am going to have that love story. It did not work out. So from here on, I have no idea what these books are about. <laughs> like I said, I was in a phase. I was trying really hard to like this book. I was these books I wasn't. And most of these are just fish from my brain. So we have Twisted Her Hearts and There's for the Night. Then Pure Dark Ones. The first book is Pure Healing. A modern fairy tale duet. Uh, the first book is Beauty and the Professor. And then Surrender, the first book was We Can Surrender and The Queen's Wing, Creatur Creatura, The Immortals, with the first book Evermore. Besides reading free books from Amazon, my genius 16-year-old self also got free books from NetGalley, always. But I used to request anything that I found mildly interesting, but I clearly didn't know myself because the first book I requested was The Cowboy's Forgetful Wife or Bride and that is the first book in the Brothers of the Copper Ranch series. Like you see this face and you see my fairy books and you see this book. Uh, something is not working. Then we have Beneath the Surface and that is the Outsider Project series 
no idea what it is about. Then there was a series called Hagen Heim, and I requested a book that was called The Warrior Maiden because it was a retelling of Mulan. But you know Mulan, the super powerful, independent woman that made history. There is nothing of that in that book. Like this one, I remember because I was like, how do you dare compare with Mulan? Like the main character in this book was so bland. And it's also book number nine in the series that I didn't read the previous one. Then we have the 90th placement that is the Shadow Sword series. The only thing I remember is that I didn't like the world building because I didn't understand it. Like I was so lost and things kept happening and people kept coming and I didn't understand anything that was happening. I was just... Then we have Blunt Force Magic. Um, this is the Monster and the Monster and Men trilogy. Paralite and the Permafrost series that the first book is White Stack. So those are 16 series that I'm not going to continue because I don't remember them and I'm not interested in them. Now we are going to continue with the series that I actually remember why I don't like them. Like someone could come in my house right now, put a in my head and tell me to read these books and I will be like, just shoot. Like there is no way I'm reading these books. Also be prepared for a throwback uh, because a lot of these series I started when I was a teen and never finished. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I liked this book when I read it, but I didn't like the sister. She's kind of a bitch and like me too, <laughs> but I don't want to read about her. Then we have An Unkindness of Magicians, that is the unseen world. Like the main character is one of those characters that just goes wherever the plot takes her and doesn't actually make her own decisions. Then we have Player, Ready Player One. I really like this when I read it, but I don't care enough to read a second book, like everything is close here so i don't know what the second book is even about if it's more video games i'm really not that interested and if it's just the lives of the characters here i'm even less interested <laughs> then we have bear to you and this is the crossfire series you know where i said i had a dumb submissive fixation this completely took me out of there because after reading this book i was like there is no fucking way I'm ever reading a relationship like this ever again. I don't remember anything that happens in this book, but I see that cover and I'm immediately filled with rage. I don't know what happened inside those pages, but it left a mark here. We have The Roommate, which is the Shameless series. I actually really like this book, but I didn't like the main character of the second book. He is one that already appears in this one. Then we have Cocky roommate that is the book boyfriend series i didn't like this book and it's the second book i just started with this one because it sounded the most interesting and i didn't like it so i know i won't like any of the others i don't like the way it's written i don't like the love interest i don't like how the relationship progresses like it doesn't feel healthy and to see toxic relationships i can just look around <laughs> then we have three dark crowns which I actually don't own anymore because I sold it. I didn't like these three characters. All of them started as something and finished like something else. And it's not like there was some growth or they, their paths lead them there. They just completely changed personalities out of nowhere. And that's enough for me to be like, no thanks, going to try something else. Okay, I'm going to mention one now because it's one series that I started and won't be finishing. But uh, I don't want to talk about this book ever. And it is Harry Potter. If you don't know it by this point, everything, the sucky human being that wrote this book, go check out the internet. There is a ton of things. So, no. <laughs> then we have... Okay, I also sold that one. And it's to all the boys I've loved before. I think what drove me off this book is the relationship between the sisters and how a guy got in between that. I guess I should see different points of view because not everyone has a good relationship with their siblings, but they had a good relationship and then everything was ruined because of a guy. Then we have Monsters of Verity, this savage song. This is the only book by B. Schwab I've read, I think. And I didn't like it. I think it was interesting, 
but not that memorable. I don't remember a lot of things about this one. I have the Checkmate Duet series. These books have two books per couple and there are three couples and I only read about one that is This is War and I like that one but six books like I said I'm a four to five <laughs> series kind of girl and the next couple that follows I am not interested in. Then I have Dorothy Must Die. This one I actually have the second book I have read the, both of them but something happened in the second book that made me go like no and it's the same case as the one that I mentioned before like I don't remember what it was what happened but I have emotions stored Anna and the French Kiss I actually really like this book like you can see it's stuffed I love the covers for these books even to this day not this one of course but the one the other ones but I still I won't read these books like I said there are so many more amazing books now that take priority over this. Sigo, sigo. Oh, se fue. No. Uy. Sandstone. For me to get this book, I actually had to leave school early and go to the library I have at the bus station. And I had to buy it and keep it super hidden in my bag and then come home and immediately put it at the back of my bookshelf so no one could see it because it's obvious and it's also like super graphic this is one of those relationships that don't man's out that is actually sapphic my issue with this book is that it's written by a man i feel weird reading sapphic relationships written by men or achillean relationships written by women it gives me a weird vibe i don't know um it, it feels off Especially this one because it's so it's super sexual. So like I won't buy the next books. Plus, like I said, this kind of relationship are not my thing anymore. Alice in Zombieland. That is that is the White Rabbit Chronicles. Uh, I didn't hate it, but I really didn't like it. Like the entire zombie thing, they are kind of ghosts. Um, but some points I kind of creepy because I was like. What if there is a zombie ghost right now and I'm not seeing it? Uh, but most of the story is bad. Like, for me, it needed a couple of tweaks to be, like, good. Then we have Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. That is the Bill Hodge trilogy. This was one of my three intents to read Stephen King and like him. It didn't work out. Then it might come to a surprise for you, but... I am not continuing Hairstopper. I'm not even sure if I finished the first book. And I love these characters. I love the series. I'm not sure if I'm going to watch the second season because these books deal with an eating disorder. Charlie has an eating disorder. And yeah, that's the only reason why I'm not continuing this book. I cannot uh, put myself through that. Then we have Beautiful Disaster. I'm pretty sure the main character is the huge misogynistic guy he's a bad boy so that means asshole then we have the half bad trilogy not a memorable book i don't remember anything another case of that moon chosen then we have a court uh, of thrones and roses by sarah j mass when i read it i did like this one and i loved akomath and then akowar i liked it she was doing the same thing she did in, on the second book for the third. It felt like a repetition. And after that third one, I read the Nesta and the novelas, all of the ones that are out now. And they kept getting worse and worse and worse for me. Uh, and talking about that, I'm also DNFing Throne of Glass. I only read the first book and not memorable. And it's also six, seven books. Maybe I'm just a lazy reader. <laughs> like Then we have Hex Hall, which I hated. I think the main character really, really annoyed me in this book. Then we have Things We Never Got Over. Also another case where the main character is just so annoying for me. I don't know what it is about these characters, but they just annoy me. And I don't want to read about them. Then surprisingly, I have Six of Crows. I think they are coming out with a third book. 
And after what happened in the second book, I don't want it. Uh, if you have read it, there is the major thing that happens at the end that broke my heart. Like, I hated Leigh Bardugo for doing that to me. Why are we going to have a third book where that person is not there? I don't want it. Then we have the Stemis novellas by Alice Hazebook. I read the first two. I only have the third one left. But I don't remember anything of the first two. The Maybe series, I start, I read Maybe Someday by Colin Hoover. I liked it when I read it, but at this present moment in my life, in my time, I don't want to read Colin Hoover, so I'm not going to. The Vampire Chronicles. I read an interview with the vampires this year. I gave it one star and I DNF'd it. Are you ready for another throwback? This is the tough. I didn't know it was a series, but it's supposedly the Hamilton High series. I read it when I was the intended audience. I was a teenager when I read it, and I still thought it was too dramatic for my taste. Then we have Red Queen, another case where I don't remember anything about it. I remember the last scene, which is surprising. I don't know why I remember only the last scene, but it left something in my brain. Hot and hammered. The first book was Fix Her Up and the second one is Love Her or Lose Her, something like that. I DNF'd the first book. It has the miscommunication trope in an extreme. Like this girl could have just listened to the guy talk to her for two seconds and everything will be fixed, but she ran away. And Love Her or Lose Her or whatever the title is, I also didn't finish. Gabriel's Infierno. Another case done sad and not interested in. Then we have the cocktail series. I only read the first book that is called Wallbanger. I actually liked it. I don't remember much about it. The next title is Screwdriver. <laughs> and that title sounds awful. Then we have the Creekwood series. That is the Simon versus the Homo sapiens agenda. Um, that is the first book. Then comes the Leah of Beat. I hate it. Leah. Again, don't ask me why, like never ask me why, but my, my heart, my soul tells me she's not good. So I've never been interested in reading about her. Then we have Fallen, which I don't remember anything about. That, at least that makes this video shorter. Then I also had Caraval, but I sold it again. I was expecting a true Caraval experience and creepy things happening, mysterious. But mm, it was kind of that, but also not. I wasn't intrigued or at the edge of my seat while reading it. Mara Dyer series. Uh, the main character, I didn't like her at all. I didn't like the love interest. I didn't like the writing style. Now these are the books that I'm on the fence about. Like, I could one day decide that I actually want to continue these stories most probably I won't because I had to make this list like go through my entire Goodreads to actually remember I like these stories enough to want to continue them but if I didn't make this spreadsheet that I did I wouldn't remember that I read it. the first book that is the most recent Theory of the Orange Tree um I liked it don't get me wrong but it's too long like why did it have to be that long so i'm not going to read the new book like the prequel anytime soon then we have the dark olympus series i read the first three books in this series the first one is persephone persephone and hades retelling then the next one is i'm actually not sure what it is retelling no uh, but i really liked it but the third one is a retelling of patroclus and Achilles and both of them are with another girl. I just love Patroclus and Achilles and this book didn't make them justice in my opinion and I DNF'd it. I didn't like it. I feel like if the third book in a series is bad it, it can only continue to get worse but the first two books were really good so maybe I should try. Then we have the Vampire Queen series that the first book is Queen Takes Knights. This is another of those cases with polyamorous relationship, but I know later on on this series 
there is a book where queen takes queen and i'm thinking about just skipping all of the books and just read this one then we have the riley thomas series and this is about a woman that sees ghosts and that is full of mystery and stuff like that and i feel like this is something i could like but i have to be in the mood for mysteries after forever or the bisexual billionaire series this one is also these two guys with a girl but the difference here is that it has friends to lovers and friends to lovers just does it for me then we have the witch and the vampire i didn't like the main characters they also had this problem where their personality changes according to what is happening instead of having solid thoughts and values and things but i'm curious about the second book because the magic system and everything was really interesting then we have red rising this is huge i like this book it's really fast paced it's really good like a lot of things happen but the second time i read it i didn't like it as much so i didn't continue with the rest of them and i feel like now i will have to do a third reread of this book to continue the rest one the other ones and i don't feel like doing that right now but maybe in the future i actually do it or i just go for the second book then we have the darkest minds i don't remember a lot about this one but i know i liked it and i know a lot of people were really into these books back then and i'm curious maybe like this is more on the dnf side to be honest because when am i going to pick it up just because uh, but maybe <laughs> then we have velvet um, I actually won this in a giveaway. It came with a bunch of little gifts and stickers and stuff like that. So I I liked it just because it came with everything. But I don't remember a lot. I think it's werewolves and vampires. But it's one of the few books I actually have in English. So I would actually reread this and maybe continue with the series. Asylum. These books, like I read the first two. And I think I couldn't buy the third one because I didn't have money and then I forgot. It's a school that, he, that used to be a psych ward. So there are ghosts, there are creepy things happening. Everyone keeps having dreams and see things. It's very creepy. Then we have Scales, that is Spirits of Chaos series, the first book. It's an arc I was given and I will reread it. Just because the second and third book have really amazing covers. Like all of these covers are really pretty. So I want to see like what's inside. Then we have Hush Hush. This is about angels. I think I really liked it when I read it. So I may continue like this is so old. No one is talking about these books anymore. Then we have Breakwater. That is the Broken Tides series. And it's about mermaids. I love mermaids. And also these covers are also really pretty so i want to try it the travel with hating you i didn't really like this book i didn't like the relationship between the two characters but the second book first love take two it's about another character in this book it sounded really nice when i read the synopsis of it when i was making this list dirty air series these are the um, formula uno books i really like the first book the second book I DNF'd after two chapters because the main character is one of those characters that are like I'm not like other girls I'm better I'm different I'm not going to read about that character but I'm thinking maybe I can skip that book and continue the other ones because I'm really interested in the one about Santiago the brother of the main character on the first book I think that one is the fourth one so maybe I can skip you know then we have warm bodies i love this book and this movie but just because it's a romance like after this there are other two books that are more focused on the world then we have firebolt the dragonian series another case the cover really pretty i think i liked it so maybe i will reread it and continue lastly we have fallen kingdoms but that one i didn't really like the first time i read it i don't remember why and i don't i don't have that negative feeling that i was talking about so it, it wasn't that deep so maybe i can reread it and continue the rest of the series okay let me just <clears throat> what is my water Oy. now that all of that bad in me stuff 
it's out of the way let's talk about the books i will finish the first one is blood like magic i loved it and i want to read blood like fate right now scrib is being an asshole and i cannot read anything there because everything is unavailable for some reason so once everything is available i want to read blood like fate another amazing series and i just read the first book is she who became the sun the radiant emperor series the next book i'm not sure if it's out or not right now but once it is available once i can have it i will have it and i will read it because this book is amazing on the third place we have Legendborn. These books are everywhere and for such a good reason, like the entire magical system, the main protagonist, her entire family, everything is so good. And I won the third book already. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't think we have a publication date, but I need it. Fourth place, we have The School for a Good and Evil. I love this book. I also read it this year. I want to actually reread this book and read the other ones. Not because I haven't forgotten anything, but because I want to annotate it. Then we have a series of unfortunate events. I have book one and two. I think there are 14 of these. So that's why I haven't bought the other ones. I want to actually buy the rest and read them because these books are amazing. Like they are so entertaining, so fast paced, so short. Most recently I read Fence. I read the first two volumes and I want to finish. I don't know how many volumes there are, but this is a graphic novel, so it's really fast to read. And then I also read Monstrous. I read the volume one, so I want to continue them. Also no idea how many volumes there are, but the first one was shocking to say the least like i wasn't expecting it to be so gory <laughs> aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe this has a second book that i already saw on screen so i want to read it soon i want to see what it is about if it's about these two characters or oh, just them getting old and just spending time together i love them then we have the Spellwork Syndicate. The first book is Deadly Sweet. I love this book. This is an arc that I received way back when I was just starting with a blog that I used to have. And it's amazing. It gives me a warm feeling whenever I see it. So I want to continue it. Then we have the Spanish Love Deception. And the second book is called The American Roommate Experiment. And just reading the synopsis, I think I'm going to like this one. And it sounds it's going to be a situation of friends to lovers. Then we have the Love Struck series. I read the first two books and the third one is called Take a Hike. And it's about the best friend of the female character in the second book. And I'm enjoying these books. Like they go by super fast and they are really great for when I'm reading a ton of fantasy and I need a little palette cleanser. Then we have the Fallen Flame series. This is also another arc. I read the first two, I think, and I'm also waiting on the third one to come out. The Onyeka series. I read the first one this year and I really like her, like the main character is adorable. It's a middle grade, so of course it gives me that warm feeling too. Wrath of the Gods series. I read the first book, We Are the Origin, and I thought it was okay, but I'm interested to know how the story continues. The Kiss Quotient series, I read the first two books and the only one left I have is The Heart Principle, and it has my favorite character that is the casting of the guy from the first book i'm pretty sure and i love him so that's why i want to read it now i have true north series that is bittersweet and the next book is still fast i don't know what this book is here like i remember the cover but i don't remember what these books are about but it seems when i was making this list i will i looked through the synopsis and i was like yeah this is sounds interesting so we are going to trust myself and say i will read this someday like i probably won't because i don't i made this list early this morning and i already don't remember what these books were about honestly um this whole video is a mess then we have the if i stay series um if i stay and then where she went i really liked the first book it made me cry the scene with the grandfather and i never got to read the second book I think I was saving it. Uh, if you saw my haul, I tend to save the books I have on my physical TBR just because they are so few that I don't want to read them. 
because then I won't have anything to look forward to. But I can confidently say I won't have to read this first book to read the second book because I remember what happened there. Then we have the Loose Ends series, which are, this is one of those cases that I forgot how much I love this and I never continue. The first book is Rafi, the buff male nanny. And the sec second book is called Saint. I love Rafi. Like, it was so adorable and also steamy. And I would actually reread Rafi just for the enjoyment of it before re reading Seni. But I'm for sure going to read it. And lastly, we have Furthermore. I read this book a while ago and I loved it when I read it. And I just had to continue with the witch book one. I think there are only two, like this one and another one, and then it's done. So I will have to do it soon. So these are all of my series. We have 53 DNFs, 18 on the fence, and 19 to continue. Um, pray for me. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We love books in this channel. I'm going to read them. I'm going to enjoy them. That is the point. Honestly, if you made it this far, I love you. <laughs> I feel like we went on a journey together. This was a lot. <laughs> Give me a flower emoji. Just whatever flower. Uh, these books. That, this book doesn't have flowers, but it's so colorful that it reminds me of flowers. My brain is not working anymore. Let me know if you are in the middle of any of the series I'm in the middle of. If you have read some of the ones that I'm on the fence about, let me know. Like, should I read them? Should I not? But that is everything for this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week.